Hello again, Herd. We are the Herdsmen. I am Mark. I'm Graham. And we are back with another food review today. I hope you're having a great day. I am truly having a great day today. I've got to admit, it's getting better. It's getting better. It's a good day. So, we're having a good day. We hope you're having a great day as well. Um, so, I, we went back to a place today that I love, and we've said this before. We live like up two blocks from this place, and we don't go there nearly enough. KFC. KFC! I just had to say it that way. I just I have some students. He's that, a strange fellow. Some students that like that, so KFC. Yeah, okay. Alright, so today we're doing a new sandwich that we just heard about called the Zinger sandwich. Zinger. Zinger sandwich. So why don't you give that a try while I discuss what's on it? Um it looks like a crispy chicken breast, breaded. It looks like it is, I think it's double breaded, if I'm not mistaken. It has lettuce. It has mayonnaise on a sesame seed bun. I think that is it. All right, the zinger. Now, and I, while, you're, while you're doing that, because I'm going to tell a little story. So, uh, as I look at the bag here, you see on the bag is uh, uh, Colonel Sanders. Uh, don't know if I told this story on the air or not before, but... Um, I met him. You knew that, right? I told you that? Yeah, I met Colonel Sanders. When I was like 10 years old, um, he was eating lunch at a hotel that we were staying at during spring break when I was like 10. So this is like 1973, okay? And he pulled up in his big limo-ish car. He was driven, okay, uh, by a chauffeur. Pulled up, and actually we had had KFC the night before, so we actually had a bucket, and we had him sign the bucket. It was really cool. Yeah, I met Colonel Sanders. But isn't he dead? Oh, he's dead now, yeah. All right, so talk about this. What what do you think? Uh, first bite, I was not impressed. It felt too clean. Okay. It, it kind of felt bland, like McDonald's chicken, not KFC chicken. As he said, it felt double-breaded. I mean... When something's double breaded, I feel it loses that 11 herbs and spices flavor. And right. I actually had to chew the back of the sandwich to actually get the good flavor that I'm used to. I will say, at least, there is at least one good thing. It's not quite as greasy as the other mm -hmm. types of chicken you get. I think that's what turns a lot of people off. Because it's really good chicken, but sometimes it can be way too greasy. All right, that, I think that's good. Um, it's unique. It doesn't taste like KFC chicken to me. It, it, it's, there, there's not that, like you said, the, the 11 herbs, is it 11? Yeah. Yeah, 11 herbs and spices, whatever that is. It doesn't have that flavor to me. It's not nearly as greasy. I love that about it. But it doesn't have that KFC flavor that yeah. I like. It is a little spicy. I do like that. Yeah. But the zinger, why would they call it a zinger though? Yeah, it doesn't have a zing, it doesn't have an herb. And I realize that this joke does not work, but we have to try something. Zinger, why would they call this the zinger? I, you know, I don't, I don't know. Um, it's okay. Yeah. Honestly, um, what were the things we had at KFC before? KFC! The, can't help like, double downs or the, well, the the um, the spicy. Didn't we have like the spicy? Don't they have like the sliders sort of like? Yeah, yeah. Though I like that a lot better. Yeah, and than this. I mean, if they were to do the same sandwich with maybe I'd say about half that meat, but the original recipe, I yeah. think this would have have been a tremendously better recipe well, sandwich. And, uh, well, and there was a lot of meat on it. That's true. I mean, it was a big. Yeah, it was late. a big chicken breast. But way too uh, breaded. Is yeah, it? it was just overly breaded. It, it, and and God, look at me. I, I'm a guy who likes breading. I, that's the important part of my diet. I have to make sure my breading levels are, are up. Um, and this just didn't do it for me. So uh, let's go to cows. What are we going to get at cow-wise? <sighs> Healthy burps. Too. It gives you healthy burps. See, wow. Okay, what do you got? One and a half because it it had standards to fall from. Okay, I'm going two and a half, and I forgot to share this. But this sandwich 
uh, was four dollars and twenty seven cents. Well, at least that's closer to not being a rip off. Yeah, I mean, for four twenty seven, I'm getting a two and a half cows. It is one that I would probably get again. And if I had a combo with this, I bet with the combo it's going to be about six bucks. That's a pretty good value for me. Not a great sandwich, but I would I would probably get it again. I'd probably get the five buck box, I believe it's called. Yeah. 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 But we're not impressed with the sandwich. So this is the Zinger. Uh, we don't highly recommend it, but, you know, it's not bad. It's I mean, There are worse it chicken sandwiches. <coughs> it does need improvement. There are worse chicken sandwiches out there. KFC, come on. You know, think it through. Make some good decisions using your brain. You're not using your brain. So, anyway, that is all from us today. If you like what you see, please be sure to subscribe, share, comment, all that kind of stuff. We really appreciate it. We love hearing from you guys. And as always, until next time, don't, don't be, be afraid, afraid to, to join, join the herd. herd. Yeah. yeah.